Jesus, Urban! Urban! What Urban living! He hit oh my it. God! Just because. Oh, wait, did he? And he gets it as I was about to say! Other the spirits fold, but mine has ceased to be broken. You stripping down my private, so my only opponent. And maybe I'm alive, but live with this, I'm awoken. So let me show you that everything I sacrificed mattered. All that blood, sweat, tears that I scattered. Oh, 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 But Jazz, can he do it again? Oh my. Is he gonna get the game? Oh! Yes, he gets it, goes underneath the wall! Is he gonna get it? Oh! 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 Testing, testing. Hello, everybody. It's me. I'm Urban. We, I am back with Mr. Nuko himself. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is going to be... We, we, we did the same kind of uh, series a little bit ago, actually, yeah. Did be, I believe it was. Yep, so. yeah, the same team, too. Side, uh, side flip tactics. Yes, this was the same exact <laughs> yeah. series, actually, but in the finals. So, And just yeah. a quick side note, I'm just not to cut you off, but just so everyone in the Twitch chat and here is aware, you have six minutes for this pr predictions. I put 65K on side flip, Ooh. so if you would like to cash in and hope Bob's Builders wins, this is your time. But I am all in, because I'm sick of losing today. But yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Guy is done losing Bison Bucks. Hopefully, or I'll be poor. Well, what we know what the, the side flip tactics had made uh, finals today or yesterday. They, they did a fantastic job. Who do we have coming up next as well? Um, after this, it'll be the Div A finals, which would be um, Oh gosh, Northern Lights and I lost rank disparity. Sorry, yeah. but today is Bob's Builders and Side Flip Tactics, the rematch from the playoffs. Big deal. Bob's Builders has yet to pull a game off of Side Flip Tactics. Uh, I think they got swept in the regular season. They did. They also got swept going into. Um, I believe they get, went game five actually in in the uh, semis. But here we see the stats here and the, how the bracket has kind of turned out throughout the weekend. And you know, honestly, I'm, I'm I'm a little surprised to see Cargo Space do so well, and then they you know they really really struggled against Bob's Builders there in the last the last bit there. But nonetheless, Bob's Builders looking to make a little bit of a comeback here. I just noticed something. Sideflip has only lost one game in this playoff run, and it was two resurgence. Yeah, one just one mini school game. So it's really that's why I'm putting it all on them. They they <laughs> they gave me a reason why they shouldn't lose so but Bob's Builders is try, gonna try and fix it today and they want to put their name on the board but yeah Cargo Space did surprise me as well I thought they put up a little bit more of a fight but Bob's Builders just came to play they wanted their redemption and we'll see if they can honestly win more than one game against Sideflip that's gonna be a big deal yeah absolutely and I mean I'm, I was talking to Sideflip Tactics earlier as well and the only team that they were really scared about was actually Cargo Space just because the last time that they had played them was I believe the second week of the entire season so they hadn't played cargo space in a very very long time whereas you know they had just played um bob's builders you know pretty recently so they, they kind of knew what they were going up against but they're a little afraid of cargo space and i i imagine that they're feeling really good going into this one yeah i would say they're pretty confident here um but uh going after that it looks like we're gonna have side flip tactics enter the arena We are indeed gonna be having side flip tactics taking it, led by the man himself, their captain in Torps, followed by Weevil and Program. Ladies and gentlemen, they are in the upper bracket for a reason with two chances to take this championship. Give it up for side flip tactics.
slave hoodie there. I love that. Yes, sir. And the song's always great. But uh, what a great entrance by And they had two uh, two attempts here at winning this because because they're in the top of the bracket. You know, they have that extra life, of course, like we had seen in the past with previous games. And you know, hopefully we don't run into another bracket reset. It'd be good content, though. It would we've be. Had, we have had a lot of games that have just been 4-0 sweeps, especially with side flip tactics. Yeah, and Bob's Builders definitely wants to try and not prevent um, them getting out super early, but they got a tall task ahead of them. I mean, the games were pretty close, from what yeah, I can recall, and absolutely. I know Torps even said the games in the regular season were close, so, you know, it should be a good one. But now we're going to enter the Bob's Builders with a great theme song. Oh, wait, uh, just one second. One second. I'm just going to keep talking. Our admin told me to wait, so I'm just kind of stalling. So anyways, <laughs> do you think side flip is just going to come up winging? Or, or you know, I, like you had mentioned earlier, you know, side flip tactics versus Bob Builders, you know, yesterday was, they were very close games. They were, I believe, one or two goal games each apiece. However, you know, side flip tactics were just a little bit more consistent with being up and like wanting to, wanting to get that dub early on. They, we had, well, it ended in game five, so wasn't too wasn't too to much of a, a long folders, series but you know, time flip tactics are fantastic right now i want to get them on okay. yeah looks like we got a fun donation in side flip takes the, the w good luck boys and we just got we just the a -OK. okay let bob's builders enter the arena all right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the men down in the lower bracket. They have their life on the line. Hopefully, they'll be able to fix their chances here. We've got Bob Slinger, Thoughtfart, and Baba Kanoosh. Ladies and gentlemen, the men with the hard hats, Bob's Builders. Tool had mentioned they are on the line here, so they really don't have too much to give up. Whereas, you know, tactics like we had talked about, they have that little bit of a buffer, and that's really going to help them going into this. You know, I was talking, and Bob Builders really look, they were looking a lot stronger today than they were yesterday. Yeah, they definitely played up really good against Cargo Space. Um, hopefully, they give the same amount of pressure than Side Flip today. Um, I don't know, it's just going to be hard to see. I just kind of need to watch the game and find out because I'm sorry, but when they get swept. Technically twice, it's really hard to see the future, Absolutely, yeah. but I believe in them, so yeah. we'll have to see how they go. But my boost really wants side flip to win, <laughs> just, just being honest. Absolutely, and we're not going to talk too much about stats. I mean, yeah, we've got we see we see some crazy stats here: 3.4 and you know that 2.5 versus one or two on the assists. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, Bob's having a little bit more saves per game that might come in handy, but at this point in time, it doesn't really matter. We're all coming down to who can play the best right now. Yeah, for sure. Sorry, I'm just checking the predictions here. Uh, they ended up being 73% and 27% oh, to Bob's wow. Builders. Uh, I might be the reason for the high percentage, but that's fine. <laughs> I just wanted to look. Um, but, yeah, other than that, if we look at their stats, like, I mean, we kind of mentioned it already today. That's a thing. Yeah, it's these exact absolutely. same teams played already, so yeah. it's kind of just repetition. But I would just say uh, side flip to me, they definitely play more as a team now. Um, when I played them, it didn't seem like that. So I feel like that's why they're finding so much dominant success. Like this is how their team was meant to be. Bob's Builder still has been consistent, but as I say that, we are underway in game number one. Did we get a quick kickoff chance. Ooh, Thoth with an unfortunate backflip. Here comes Torch, getting a touch. Likely gonna get it back to himself. Bob can use, slams it down the field. And here comes Mr. Thoth, Mr. Mechanics. Gonna try and see what he can do this time around in the finals. As Bob Kanish takes it up into the corner. And Bob Slinger going for a shot. But it's slotted away by program. Uh, really looking to see Bob Slinger just really slam the board to the first and second round. You know, and maybe that might be very well. We've seen Tyler Weevil, or Weevil and programs find each other for passes so often. You know, looking for a good shot here by Kanish because he makes it really well. You know, we really want to watch out for Torp himself, just as a, a, a as a man. Who, he is a, such a crazy and mega player. He's so fast on the corners and the walls. He really just 
have to watch out for those fast plays that you can pull out. Yeah, for sure. He definitely can be the game changer when it comes to this sort of stuff. Uh, he's rocking a nice shiny red Fennec. Not sure if that's the exact car he rocked earlier. As we look, it's a nice slam. Luckily, Baba is there for him, but that's just right. Oh, really close opportunity for side flip. Seems like they're still feeling, feeling the game out here. As Mr. Weevil gets a nice slam, but off the post once again. Post is just not side flip's friend so far. Totally good pass over the program for him. Gets into the corner, but now far throws it away. Has some need build presence coming from both of these. The has a good opportunity here off the wall. Not a lot of boost to work with, though. Nice 50 comes off the dribble in their favor. And now we see two minutes underway and nothing scored just yet. We saw the last time these two teams were played, there have been shots, you know, within 15 second intervals of the game even starting. So now this is a little bit interesting to see both teams not have too many goals in the first in the first couple minutes and they kind of feed each other out. For a yeah, for sure. And if you're Bob's builders, I would say this is kind of like a good sign for them um, as they're not getting uh, too outplayed or anything considering how their games have went. So I feel like they're sitting really pretty here. And I feel like Sideflip, they're just trying to make sure that they do what they normally do. As Torps gets a nice shot on that, but it's going to be swatted away by the Orange team. But yeah, or, or else uh, just solid gameplay so far. Not a whole lot of craziness. Bob Canoose doesn't want to hit the ball today, but that's okay. Torps says, I'll hit it instead. Hits it in the corner. Bumps the Orange team. As Blue is working the corner, but then Bob Sinus flings it right back out for lack oh, of a better term. Be very scary for several times. There's no contact on the ball, though. They looks like they might have been able to get back in time. Folks slides it down. Bob Singer has an opportunity. No, she's just a little bit too high. Not enough. Thawfar able to pick up the pieces. Yeah, I'm a little, Wait, I'm a little nervous already. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> you did that. <laughs> 65,000 on the line. Oh, man. Urban. Oh, man. Bob's, I don't want to, you know, cast against you, but I am nervous. But good, great showing by Bob's Builders. And it's okay. It's only game one. So I decided that we'll be fine. Trust. Full faith. Um, but Baba Kanush here says, I really don't want Urban to be happy today. Takes a shot. Luckily, does not go in for Urban for like boost purposes. As Torque hits it into the corner. Some faking moments in the corner. Just hasn't really left this side of the field. Now Evil has a good opportunity here. Program chasing the bump. Coming out. That's something that Cyclone Tactics really knows how to, you know, put that pressure on just get those 50s and bumps very, very nicely. For sure. The bumps are huge. Getting the Definitely. brooms ready to clean up after Bob's is done. <laughs> the, oh. the trash talk <laughs> in the Twitch chat. That, I, that dono's always worth it, I gotta say. We all, it's always satisfying to hear the Twitch chat, but uh, they're pretty confident. We'll have to see, though. But uh, Bob's... Uh, they're in the lead with a minute 30 left to go here. This game's kind of oh, falling apart, with but that's great definitely going shot. Nice slot by Weevil. It looked like it might have was, it looked like it was going to go bottom corner up and out, but it just managed to sneak its way into the back of the net there. Now they're, now they're tied up. So now, you know, they're finding out where exactly these holes are placed in each team. And Bob like, Slinger sweep. You know, I've seen a consistent pattern in, you know, Bob Miller's being able to really back the boards early on, especially on the kickoffs, and you know, keep that midfield presence. Yeah, the kickoffs were always interesting last series, um, but so far, the presence has been good. I feel like a lot of games been spent in the corner, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie, but that's okay. <laughs> the corner is the safest place. Pretty much, yeah. They're like, eh, we'll just keep it here for a while. But this is a great, lots of field for uh, Torps there, but unable to do nothing with it, really. Flying towards the net. Torp should have the save, which he does. Mr. Thothfarf swings it downfield. Bob Slinger tries to hit back to Thoth. He's going to pass it back to Bob Slinger. Bob Slinger's going to try and shoot, but Program is there to shut it down. And it's Baba Kanush is trying to follow. Lots of pressure from the builders. Much different than their series before. They are trying to put on the pressure in this game. Huh? And then if you're a Bob Builders fan, you love to see it. Oh, but Program oh just comes God. flying in and this swats guy it in. Looking to close out game one early without an overtime. What a great opportunity there and honestly fantastic placement. Baba Kanush is not able to do that ball in time. Now under 30 seconds left to go. Sides of tactics take the lead. Yeah, program some great speed there. Honestly did not know where he was on the field. And he just swooped in and said give me that and he got it for sure. Torps here trying to make something going but Thoff has got that under control. 20 seconds to go. They're going to have to send the whole team. Bob Slinger dies but that's okay because Baba Kanush is coming in. Going to take a touch. Let's see what he can do. Fakes out one. But program's there to follow up. We get it to the wall. This is still very dangerous. 
Taking his time. Oh, there's so much opportunity Ooh. here. Wait. Oh, gets shut. Down. Oh, no way. Bounced up. Don't Can anybody do it? To keep it up. Oh. And side flip. Honestly, didn't uh, I did didn't look like they were gonna come out with the first game, but they yeah. definitely did. Yeah, it definitely looked a little bit scary for side flip tactics initially. They, they were down one in the last 30 seconds there, and you know they were, were having a little bit of a hard time, you know, getting the ball on the other side of the field. Like you mentioned, the, the ball was in the corner for most of the game there, and there wasn't a whole lot. Of, happening per se so, yeah yeah it was hard uh, to tell <laughs> down down toward the wire though they really kicked it in gear and we're trying to get some shots off program did a fantastic job you know manipulating that space there and took advantage of it yeah for sure um i did like what i saw from bob's builders though they definitely did a lot more pressure they weren't in their own half the entire game they were in side flip tactics half most of the time i just think side flip got a couple of quick counter attacks on bob's builders and was able to come out with the win there but Honestly, I'd just say for both teams to just play the same way because I think they were both finding success. It's just going to see who comes out on top, really. I yeah, don't really absolutely. know what else to really mention. Looks like Cyberpunk got a few more demos, but a little bit more shots, I guess. But, uh, yeah, or else the touches are basically even, too, for the most part. Like, looks pretty, pretty close. Yeah, absolutely. There's not too much to say about that. I'm really interested to see how they adapt going forward here just because, I mean... There's not too much you can do unless you get super, super creative or you can of course, have some crazy touch. Bob Builder's gonna have to go back to construction after this. Oh, man. <laughs> the Twitch chat is relentless today. Hopefully, Bob's Builder's isn't shaken up by that, but I'm laughing. That $1 oh, has to be worth it. We appreciate all the donations, by the way. Oh, but as we continue game two here. Let's see if Bob's Builders are going to have to go back to construction like the chat said. Or if we're going to try and figure out something. But that oh, pinch is just no. super unlucky for Bob's Builders. But ca calculated for side flip. I mean, come on. We Look at this. Oh, man. What a great contest. There, there was no chance Bob could have getting back in time. Just hit, hit the ball hard equals win games. I'm telling you. It's that simple. And we was just showing you exactly how it works. You're telling me it's been that simple this whole time? It is. I just don't do it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Honestly, I just bump my teammates and rotate backwards. <laughs> exactly. Nah, just hit the ball higher and you're fine. We were here now in the ceiling going up for the shot on the back side of Bob's defense. Looks like they got a convert. Uh, Gonfar throwing it back over to the tactics side here. Some back and forth action happening in the middle. It's a program going to take it back into the corner here. You know, trying to find the teammate, but he gets demoed away by Thompson. Of course, he's going to have to take this ball and go for a 50 on the top. Sling in the corner. Once again, just being caught in the corner on the side of the tactic side. But it looks like they might get it out of here. Yeah, it's coming back into the midfield. Bob Knish, this is looking really good. But uh, Torps just unable to. Actually, he was trying to defend the ball. I'm sorry. Torps' car is red, and they're on the blue team, and it's throwing me off so much. So I'm trying to keep that in check here. So sorry in advance. Oh, but uh, we will take it in and off the sidewalk. Well, Pryke can get another touch. Gets shut down. Now Torps is going to try and make a play on this. Off the route boost. I like that. He's going to be able to air dribble this out. Bob Slinger trying to contest okay. the melee. Gets a flitch reset. He has lots of opportunity here, but run on a boost. Bob Kanush is there and just patiently waits. Program in the corner. Torps is also there. Calling program off. Swings it to the other side. Teeth off. Wanted to get a touch there, I think. Just couldn't get it. And Thoth is able to clear it away with about three minutes or so to go here. This might be a shooting opportunity. Kind of a nice flick. Now oh, Wheel's there to shut her down. Oh, Bob Singer has a great opportunity there. But I flip the tactics. He's a fantastic job. But Baba Canoe is able to slide one in. Weevil in great position on the back line to save that one away. And now going for a nice flip to kick this one. But Thothar throws it back into the corner once again. Corpse has a lot of boost to work with. Oh, no, does not have a lot of boost to work with, but he's going to get a nice touch from the field here. Weevil he doesn't make contact with the ball. They're going to have to give a little bit of space here for Bob Builders. They try to go for a little bit of counter attack here. And if he comes out, you see him trying to jump up with this one. Weevil takes that out. Weevil into the corner. Keep out fire. Taking it out. Going to get a 50 by Torps. Torps kind of dogs him. Slinger's already up for this, but it's going to fall right back in Torps' lap. He's going to go for a quick shot. Bounces off. Can he follow? Teeth off is there for the four. He's been really great on defense with Bob's Builder so far. He's always been back. And now he's going to try and make an offensive opportunity here. Floats it mid. Kanush is up. If he gets a good angle here, bounces off the backboard. 
And that's really dangerous. I believe this is just open for program. Torps today. And it is. Fantastic job clearing that ball away. It looks super scary for him there. He was out of boost. He was just able to get the smallest touch there to get away and pass it over to program. And it looks like they they cleaned up the comms last second. The program's like, Torps, I got this. Bit. And then Torps <laughs> is like, oh no. But they made it happen. 2-0. And yeah, Bob's Builders, they, mm, they just kind of committed a little too hard on that last play, I think. Once but again, they're doing a fantastic job attacking. They're yeah. Just, they're, they're just hitting the crossbar here and there, and they're not able to you know, get past the, the defense from side flip so far. For sure, for sure. And then side flip has been able to find their touch as well. They've been able to score. Clearly, as their head too well. Torps is the second coming. Bless us. <laughs> These donations are making making the hype real here. Just keep setting up. We will appreciate every donation possible. As Bob Slinger takes it into the mid. Ball bounces off the ceiling. Torps fakes it. His teammate fakes it as well. Lothoff is just going to take a nice dribble and get a front foot flick out. Possible redirect opportunity. Slinger's there in the corner. Can he make something happen? This is floating mid. But nobody on Bob's Builders is able to follow. They were both kind of in the same spot. I feel like they need to spread out a little more in order to cover more of the field. Yeah, you know, they're doing a, a fantastic job, like, getting to the other side of the field. They're just not able to convert to the uh, actual threats oh, so okay. far. And Weevil sneaking in there, hit, picking apart the defense just one by one there. Program getting past one and then getting a nice touch into mid. And oh, Weevil just bro. snuck right in. Not to, t not to butt in, but it was just unfortunate T-bump there, too. I think that might have been the reason why it looked so awkward. But 3-0 side flip. It's looking grim for the builders, unfortunately. Takes it downfield. Dopar doesn't get a touch on it. Might be open for him, but Bob Singer gets him just in time. Taking it in the midfield. Can he find a touch off the backboard? No, he cannot. Weaver. Crafty as he is. He's getting hunted down by Bob Slinger, but that's okay. Program here. Flying in. Mr. Slinger gets a 50 with Mr. Program. T Popak looking to go mid. They need to figure out something in 20 seconds. Realistically, probably not going to happen, but I am here to hype up the last 18 seconds. Can Baba Canoes get a pass one? He can. This is their opportunity to get one on the board and get some momentum going. Gets one bump. Looks for a bump. Bopfarf deletes one. But a 50 in the corner. Bob Slinger trying to get something. But Torps says, not today, brother. I don't want you guys to score any goals today. As it's going to be another dub for side flip. 2-0, Mr. Nuko. Yeah, side flip Dax is doing a fantastic job. Just really getting into the back line of Bob Builder's half and getting some nice shots off. They're catching him off guard. You know, there are some small things that on offense I think Bob Builders need to work on just a little bit in terms of, you know, making sure that you guys are spread out. Your second and third man are, you know, not on the same side of the field that really they can can stop a play on offense or, you know, making sure that you're rotating correctly so you're not getting in each other's way there on defense. That's going to really, really affect how you guys um, – manage boost as well sure sure um overall this game was just a little more dominant for side flip i feel like bobs took more risks but they just didn't pay off more but um other than that though i would say that they did a good job um bob Knew's not putting up 100 points he just couldn't find much this game but i feel like, like and they're taking no the time reaction out. looks like stewie's gonna give him some coaching tips so oh, we'll see how yeah. that helps absolutely huge Nothing better than coaching things than Mr. Stu himself. And then Tobes is coaching Torps. I'll see I don't Bob's think Torps Builders needs that much coaching, Tobes, the but, shop. you know, that's okay. <laughs> I like that enthusiasm. But uh, we'll have to see what they decide to talk about here. I don't I don't know what they would say. I just feel, yeah, I like the risks I, they're taking, but they're getting punished for it if they don't follow yeah, through. It's really a lot of back and forth so far. There's nothing too crazy going on. It's just the small, small things that are making you know, a big difference so far. And... I, I love the I love taking a timeout right now because if you are on game point and then you take the timeout, you don't have a lot of time to to, like, to right, try to fix the mistakes that you guys had just talked about. So taking a timeout here is not a bad play by any means. Yeah, I, I think the game too timeouts better because um, then if you don't put it into practice the third game, then you have a chance to at least figure it out the fourth game, like you said. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, I, I mean. Kudos to right now to Side Flip Tactics. They're doing a fantastic job. I mean, their, their spacing right now on defense is, is really, really good, and they're able to counterattack off that most of the time. And hopefully we can see Bob Billard kind of come back with some force here, you know, like we said, talked about, making not, not taking too many crazy risks 
and you know making sure you're getting some good 50s. I know I haven't seen too many crazy passes come out either this this series just yet. Yeah, the crazy passes haven't really been needed. I don't know. They just kind of have been working out for uh, the side step tactics here. But game three, my boost is feeling pretty good right now. But uh, we'll see if Bob's Builders wants to make me really sad um, and win, of course. But uh, we'll have to see. As the ball is bouncing in their own corner program, taking a nice touch. But Mr. Slinger, flying high, taking a nice air drill. He's going to run out of boost. Maybe a pinch. No pinch for him. But Torx takes it in the corner. Baba Kanush slaps it out of the ah. Off beat Weevil there. That was a big deal. The program now has possession a little bit. Just kidding. Mr. Slinger says I'm going to try and get it. Is he going to be able to score off this? Really close opportunity there. He's doing a great job on defense right now. But I love the amount of pressure that Bob Builders is putting on so far. This is, this is a lot better. They're just looking for the passes. They're really trying to like jump up on the ball. But they might not want to or not. They're still going for it just to keep that presence there. And you know, they're really doing a good job. Here. Some demos are coming out. Inside for tactics as well as I guess now the other team program is also going to get demoed there. They're sticking into the corner from Bob Builders after. It goes back over to Bob Slinger. 50 on Torx here. Now Bob is going to try to close them out the corner. Program tries to go for a pass over the mid to Weevil, but nice 50 coming up with T. Hoffarf. T. Hoffarf now taking in the mid program. Slaps back. Torx trying to make something. I like the pass. Straight mid. If Bob Kanush just needs to beat Weevil there. I feel like he could have if he just hurried, hustled a little bit. They just got to play a little bit faster, I think. But uh, they have the right ideas. They're definitely trying to shut down the pressure of side flip early here. As Weevil takes in the corner, though. Gets a dribble, gets a nice little oh flick pop. My. Flick pop bump, whatever you call it. Weevil just make taking matters in his own hands and getting side flip up in this game three. Yeah, way to take control of that ball. Try to cut it right behind Bob Slinger there and a really well executed play to end this grand finals here. I'm very, very excited to see. You know, Bob Builders, they're doing a much better job on offense now. We just have to see a little bit more consistency in the midfield, keeping that pressure up. They, they lose it, and then, you know, there's back into the corners once again. And right now, the, you're in a position, the corners are not where you want to be. Yeah, the corners might be okay for Cyphus, I guess, um, being in the lead and up two games. But this is going to go. be something good. Okay, I thought he missed, I'll be honest. <laughs> Bob Slinger, you're fine. The post saved you there. That's what Bob's Builders needed, though. A quick comeback goal. Absolutely. Honestly, smart to hit it towards the wall because that forces the defender out. Oh, my. I almost actually got Torp's own goal there for a second. That <laughs> was really, really close. Oh, man. Well, Bob's Builder showing some signs of life with three minutes to go. Neutral kickoff. Another neutral Ooh. kickoff. Weevil's just huge. He's got the extra five pounds in the octane, I'm telling you. Oh, pass opportunity there from Bob Builders. It goes into the corner here, but Weevil with a great oh, pass and over to Torp's. Nice opportunity there. But Team Hoffar, some great defense coming up. Yeah, I'm surprised they were ready for that uh, redirect from Torps. They must have seen him downfield. I just saw him like last second. Got pretty excited. Torps going to read this for sure. Beats beats one, but Slinger's there waiting for him. Not a problem. Get takes a 50 mid. Weevil, good to be pushed up there as third. Gets the ball. Goes for one touch. Slinger slams it into the corner. Let's see what Torps does. I like it. He's taking a chance. Doesn't get bumped. Smart to avoid it. Oh, great read from Baba Kanush there. Ooh. Very scary from program. T. Hoffar now in the corner, trying to get this ball over to Bob Slinger, but not getting the ball right there. T. Hoffar going off the corner, over to Bob Slinger once again, program with a great 50. The defense right now from these guys is absolutely crazy. The defense is really, really good. Bob Slinger is definitely looking, they, or Bob Slinger, Bob's builders. Um, they look more, a little more confident, a little less panicky, I think, um, which definitely can help you just relax in those situations and possibly score, as that's a double commit from program Weevil, but they have one back. 50s into their other corner. Slinger has a lot of time here if he opts to take it. Looking for a quick infield pass. Baba Kanush also has a lot of time. The program's going to shut him down actually right away. That's actually oh the most no. unfavorable bounce <laughs> for Bob Slinger. No, or Baba Kanush. Whoever it was. What that happened? Was a very, very hard read. I mean, you're stuck on oh. the post there. You have to get off of it to go and contest the ball, but you're falling down. Not much you can do there. I've been there before. That is not fun. Um, that's just un unfortunate for un like unlucky timing where your position is. But great shot by program, not the rest. Uh, taking advantage of the position. Oh, wow. Crazy position in the air there. In the corner there, but not able to get in the back. His ball like this is a little bit too high. Program looking for Weevil. Weevil trying to go for a redirect there, but nothing made out of it. And the ball floating midfield here. Almost going to take some space. 
Hopefully we're gonna get a touch here after the hitting the backboard. Obviously he's looking for a middle pan middle man, but even kicks away. Torps now taking a touch, getting bullied in his own corner. I like the bumps from, from Bob's Builders. They're trying to create some. Another double commit on the backboard, but they're fine because they just cleared out to where the orange team is not, and they're doing great. This is a great pass, though. Let's see what Slinger can do. He's got good control. Gets challenged early by Weevil. I like that from the tactics, just letting him not go off. Torps does get, Thoth does get a touch away from Torps here. Torps is looking for a nice pass and play. Pops it up for one of his teammates, who is up. But Bob Slinger there gets a good 50. Baba can move into the corner, but Torps was ready for it. As Bob Slinger is going to try and get a touch. Fakes it. Thoth gets dunked. That might waterfall straight down. It does not. Thoth in the corner. 20 seconds left. Yeah, this is looking very, very scary right now for Bob's Builders. They're having you know, a lot of possession, but they're not able to keep it on the other side of the field. It, it's really just staying on the floor playing defense a lot so far. And now we get the last 10 seconds of the game here. It's looking to be like Bob Builders try for their last push here. Bob Slinger throws it. Doesn't make contact on the ball. Weevil takes possession and gets a pop over one. Baba Canoose throws it high for one of his teammates there. He is up. Program with a nice 50, though, to try to shut this one down. Torpson faking it, and the ball will drop. Side flip tactics are seeing match point. My boost is really excited, Nuko. I don't know about you, but mine is happy. <laughs> However, side flips has yet to drop. Well, they dropped a game. But they, they have, Bob's Builders has yet to pick up a gate against side flip. And now they're going to have to try and reverse sweep. And then win another series, I mean. Yeah, it is. It the is mental's got to be brutal right now. It is it, it is a long road ahead of them if they want to stay in this one. And honestly, it's it's looking a little bit grim. But I don't think that they're out by any stretch. You know, there's, these games are still within one and two goals. It's not, like, impossible by any stretch. There's just some small things that are happening. I think that we need to keep them just a little bit deeper on, you know, their back line. They're having some, some very small miscommunication on the back line that are, that are causing them to, you know, be out of position or things of that nature. And maybe a demo or two going on the, uh, the counterattack is going to be, is going to be what I'm going for here. Yeah. I just feel like I don't want to use the lock, but Zyflip just finds a way to win, man. Like all these games have been kind of close. Um, I guess they won three all one game, but like this one was close. I'm pretty sure last series are a few close games. Torp's eyes are closed right now and Bob still can't get a game. Oh man. The Twitch chat is relentless today. Oh, oh. my gosh. We obviously, we have a lot of Torps fans in the Twitch chat. But uh, we'll see if Bob's Builders wants to open up Torps' eyes, according to the chat. But um, he's pretty, Torps is pretty impressive, though, if uh, he has his eyes closed during this game, I would say. That takes a lot of skill. I think in game number four here, Scythe Tactics looking to close this one out a little bit early, going for an attack here. They're on max points, so now Bob Wolves cannot allow any hiccups here moving forward, and no timeout either, so they're going to need to get into the, uh, the bracket reset if they want another timeout to take a little bit of a break. But it looks like some offense push is coming up from Bob Wolves. Bob Bar is going for a on Weevil here. I want <laughs> Torps to have my kids. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Twitch. Oh, that, was, that, was, that was funny, too. You guys are going to get us cancer. Just kidding. But uh, back to the game. Four minutes, 15 seconds to go. Uh, it's looking okay for Bob's Builders. They're still kind of stuck in their half, though. I feel like Cypher's really bringing it, though. But if you're Bob's Builders, you can maybe take advantage of them possibly overcommitting. Trying to get put this game out right in the dirt right away. Um, and possibly get a good counterattack, I think. Nice pop off the backboard here. Thoughtbar looking for a shot. It goes off the backboard as well. Baba Kanush going to go for one as well. It goes off the backboard once again. They're just they're, they're having possession, but these shots are just not necessarily too threatening just yet. They're, they're not able to you know, really rack the boards. But we'll see a double commit coming up from Tatsuki Tatsuki. We're going to see a counterattack coming up from Baba Kanush here. Nice quickly coming up from Weevil, though, here back towards midfield. Mr. Slinger himself slinging it downfield. Torps. Says, thank you very much. I'll just take it. And then Bob Canoose says, oh, don't mind if I do. But Program here says, don't mind if I do as well. Torps now. Oh Flying high. Gosh. Pinching it with Weevil. It's such a slow oh. rolling ball. Oh, what a nice clear away from Bob Canoose there. That would look like it might have just gone in. That would have been very, very <laughs> deflating almost for Bob <laughs> Builders there. Very anticlimactic, I think. At a speed of about two miles an hour. But... You know, if, we, if, if the goal's a goal, so I don't think uh, the side flip would have complained, but they definitely wanted more mustard on that bench. But still 0-0. High stakes for Bob's Billiards. Side flip probably don't have much 
much nerves at all, though. So they were sitting really pretty. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, until right about now, uh -oh. Popworth going for a crazy <laughs> double touch. <laughs> I don't know if Thaf could rewrite off this double touch. I'm gonna be honest. With you, <laughs> Thaf, you're gonna have to tell me if this was on purpose, because that was well done. If it was, <laughs> holy very, cow! But that's a goal. Nice they shot. need it. Yeah, absolutely. 1 -0. This is gonna bring Bob Floaters back. You know, set a little bit more tempo for them going into game four. Hopefully they can hold on to it. They had the lead, I believe, in game number three, and then they ended up losing it in the last minute and a half there. So now they just need to hold on to this lead here that they've got. You know, maybe catch side flip tactics on a little bit of overcommitting now that they need to you know, put that pressure on. Yeah, that is true. They have, uh, they can technically play a little more safe if they want and maybe be less aggressive, less risk-taking. Um, because I feel like that's how they got scored on a few times. With the lead here, they, they might be okay. Weevil and Program are the founders of Pinch City. <laughs> These guys are relentless in the Twitch chat. They make comments on anything, but we love to see it. We love everybody here. As Tavarv slamming it in the corner. That's a great pin or a bounce for them. But Baba Kadush now is kind of in a sketchy situation with Program here, but he gets a touch out. And now Thoth's kind of in a 1v1, but Torps challenges him early. Thoth wins the 50, and this oh, should just this be is free. free. Oh, oh wait, no. it wasn't on net? No way. This is a little bit too far to the left there now. I think he comes up from Weevil and Thawfarth here once again still stuck in the corner from Cypher Tactics. But a minute 30 left to go, they don't necessarily need this goal to keep this ball, this ball in possession and just kind of play safe from here on out. Program going to go for a pass towards Weevil. They triple commit there from Bob's Builders, but it looks like they might be able to keep possession of the ball here. And 50 comes out. It looks like, it, is that going to go all the way? Mm. Okay. No, <laughs> no, no. Torps is not letting that finch right. happen again. I don't think. That was close though. But they're gonna have to find find something here if they want the sweep, or else then you might just get slightly nervous. Are you slightly nervous if Bob's Builders wins? Or you're like, nah, they just, it was a fluke game. It's the first time they beat us. We'll just move on to that. I mean, right now if I'm side flip tactics, yeah, you're you're sitting pretty. You even have an extra life ahead of you. I wouldn't worry about it too much, but I wouldn't try to ice yourself out. Keep that mental strong. That's true. If they have uh, good momentum here. They probably don't want to take a time or earlier or nothing like that. Great save, though, by Ooh. Bob's Builders. Thoff and Slinger, they're kind of pitching it. That was a good opportunity for Cypher. Just need a little more direction on the shot. Program here popping it up. Can someone follow through? Slinger says, well, I'll do it if no one else does. Weevil taking a nice doink. Thoff says, too bad, so sad. Sends it right back into the corner. 25 seconds to go, Nuko. Will Bob's hold pass. it out? Weevil with a great hit on that pass. And Thoff are trying to make something happen. The program shuts it down early. This one might go the distance here, but it looks like Bob Singer takes possession of his ball. Goes to the wall, gets past Weevil, but Torx is able to shut it down. A nice finger right coming from Weevil. Program goes for the shot. It's just a little bit too high, and that might just be it for Slide Swift Tactics in game number four here as we hit the last three seconds here. Now another shot coming out, and the ball will touch the ground. What a Bob's save. Builders see the light at the end of the tunnel here. That is Bob's Builders' first game ever beating Side Flip. That is a big deal. Yeah, they cannot you, say they got shut out to them. Right now, you really have to establish, okay, what did we do differently that was not necessarily too prevalent in the last three games that we played? Because now we need to really, really emphasize on what we just did there and harness that power. That's very true. I'm not exactly sure what all they did. Um, maybe just a little more accurate on the shots. I feel like they weren't as risky, but I feel like what they did was once they got that, once they were ahead right away, um, they just uh, were much more calm and play a little more defensive, and they took less risks. So I feel like if Bob's gets the first goal, they're good. But I'll be honest, if Sideflip scores first, then I think Sideflip will win the game. I feel like whoever wins scores first is going to win. I agree. I, I definitely agree. I think that it's definitely going to come down to Bob's voters need to put the pressure on without taking too many risks, like we had talked about earlier, and you know maintain that possession for, for most of this entire series, for the, for the rest of the series, because it's, it's going to be a long, long road if they want to hold on to it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'd have mental fortitude to do it, but hopefully Bob's Builders does. I believe in them. My boost does it, but my mind does. That's okay, <laughs> though. But uh, we'll see how game five, yes, game five goes. One of the more important games here in New because if you win game five, in theory, you can move on to game six. Absolutely, do, you, do you understand yeah. where my logic is coming from? Yeah, I, I'm thinking that if, if Bob Builders take game number five, I think that side from tactics should take a little bit of a timeout here and, you know, really try to establish. It looks like they're trying to close this one out. Oh, my gosh. A great save coming out from Bob Builders. I agree with the timeout for sure because, like, you don't want them to just come back on, come back against you, and then now you might lose your life. 
Now you got to play a whole other series. So I feel like uh, if they don't figure it out here for side flip, it wouldn't hurt to take a timeout. Um, or at least take their full 60 seconds and, uh, before every game and just try to figure out There's something. There's a cool shot. Oh, that was. A nice save coming out from Dothbar. The program keeping that pressure up in the corner. Uh, we've been going for a 50 on Bob Sunday. It looks like Dothbar. Michael does one of Corpse here. Baba Kanush just back just in time. Not to Corpse looking for the midfield man, but it looks like Bob Sunday is going to take some away. Program taking this one to the wall now. He's got a little bit of boost to work with. Doesn't make contact on the ball, though. He's going to lead over to Thoughtbar at the lead in here. As Google goes for a 50, it goes straight into the corner from the side tactics. Now we see a little bit of a conversion. Yeah, Program taking it up. Great touch by Torps. Beating the guy on the wall. Program trying to follow both Torps and Program in the same spot, but that's all right for Weevil as he gets a nice touch out. A little backward shenanigans there for Mr. T. Thoughtbar. But that's all right, Torps. Kind of fakes one, maybe not intentionally, but it works. Program hitting up to the ceiling. Gets bumped, gets cleared out. This is a good chance for Weevil though. Gets a nice soft touch over it's one, slow. but Baba Kadoosh is falling from the, sea, from the sky. It was too slow indeed. So many slow shots coming out from side of the tactics. It looked like they were just about to fall in and then they just barely, Bob Builder's just barely making those saves. Making the difference right now between these games. And shot power is, is everything, especially the higher you get, because people get better at saving the ball and they also get better faster at getting recovery, so they need more power on these shots if they really want to put them in. And I feel like Bob's builders, uh, they've been having more powerful shooting opportunities, um, but that definitely helps, because if it's coming in hot, it's hard to save sometimes too. As, oh. but, or, you know, the change-up floater from Weevil just floats right in, too. I did not think that that was going to go in, to be quite honest with you. I thought that one was going to be saved away or, you know, maybe even hit the top corner because that was so tight. Oh, I noticed at the end there, it looked like Program was going to go, or er, not Program. Someone on Bob's Builder was going to go up the backboard, but then they got yeeted off the wall and someone bumped him. So then it looked like Slinger was trying to dive in there and save it, but he just couldn't get there. So that's why I think that floated in. So big bump from side flip. Now caught on the back foot here, but looks like I, I, I did not cast or curse that. No, you didn't. You were just you were just coming I in. Just, I was just coming in. That does not count at all. <laughs> Dolphart a great shot though. Torps gets a back flip and was not. Yeah, you know, I, I imagine that he back flipped there just did not triple or double commit there just because I believe every single one from side flip tried to save the piece of that ball there. I definitely agree. I tend to do that, and I'm like, well, maybe I should have just went with my whole team because at least someone would save it. Um, but that's okay. They wanted to keep it interesting. Tied 1-1. Half the game to go. Musty? Okay. I like the attempt, but unfortunately not on net. A few too many goalies for a side flip as they take it into the uh, opposing half here. Torp on the wall. Ready to pounce. Looking for a bump. Little doinker off the crossbar from program. Slinger clears it out. Torps gets a cheeky little touch. Off the side, but Bob Slinger trying to fly in. Weevil gets kind of, uh, not Weevil, Baba Kanoosh, I always forget. I'm sorry, Chad. Baba Kanoosh gets a nice little touch in the midfield, but now it's floating in the midfield. Weevil gets a oh, slam. This is a great opportunity for Weevil. Yup. Just kind of open. That was, I mean, as clear as day for him. And the third man, nonetheless, there. Zoom way past Bob Slinger. Taking the lead once again. Now, Bob Glitters need another response. Yeah, I think if the Thoff really wants that touch back, I guarantee he didn't mean to pop it soft in the mid there. But it just happens sometimes. And Sideflip definitely took full advantage. That's oh a really my. beautiful shot. Is Weevil able to finish it? No, he's not. Oh, the post just plaguing Sideflip tactics. But they still have the lead with a minute 30 to go here. Yeah, really need to get into this offensive zone here. Let's run 50 on program here. Looks like it might have gotten kicked away. You see Thoughtbark going for a shot. Oh, really close. I had to send two for that one there. And once again, another opportunity. As we see back on offense for Bob Builders. Bob Canoes throws this one into the corner. But, you know, there's not a whole lot happening. Oh my gosh. Bob Canoes really sneaking in there. I was just about to mention that there wasn't a whole lot happening in the corners. And Bob Canoes really. Oh, the team bump. For business. Team bump by Program and Weevil, uh, unfortunately. But Bob's Builders are loving that. And now it's tied. 2-2 two -two with a minute 14 left. A little bit of more pressure, possibly, for Mr. T the Tactic Team. Bob's Builders probably seeing more light at the end of the tunnel. They're trekking away. This might just float in. Oh, it is off. That was hard as hell. Slinger has a chance there, but puts it in the opponent's corner. They don't necessarily need the score. That's okay if they don't. They can make OT 
I don't think Bob's Builders wants to go to OT, but oh what a great my. pinch off of the opposing car by Kanush. From out of nowhere, Baba Kanush really showing up here in game number five, getting a great touch off of Weevil, and that will slam right into the back of their net, taking the lead here. And now it's looking a little bit scarier for your Bison Bucks. I. <laughs> Uh, it's okay. I'm just a slightly, slightly uh, shocked, nervous. But uh, box builders, as Thoth might get another one. Ah, oh, just barring out, not barring in. Uh, but Cypher, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. But uh, I think Bob's builders are playing much better today than they were a couple series ago. So you got to give credit to where credits due. They're doing a great job. As that was kind of open for Bob Slinger, but he just wanted to slap it high. As time is ticking away, a lot of pressure from the builders. Boff taken into the corner, 19 seconds to go. Baba Kanush taking it up to the sidewall. Oh, here we see a lot of pressure coming out from oh, the side. Weevil's here. got an opportunity. Last 10 seconds, the demo comes out. Corpse needs to go for this ball in the corner here to get some pressure made. Thoth Rock goes for a 50 on this program now, going for this ball as well. Weevil trying to get a nice clear, but it doesn't make contact. Bob Builders take game number five. Dude, Weevil, or who was it? Not Weevil. Thothar's got a god spawn on that demo. Did you notice Absolutely. he spawned right yeah, in? He was able to 50 right that. that. If ball. he didn't spawn in that location, that might have been a different <laughs> ending. But Bob's Builders get away with another game. And yeah. now this is this is kind of this is a series now. Yeah, Weevil. I'm not too sure what they're doing differently here because we see in the stats here, you know, Cyclone Tactics is a lot more offensive pressure. We see a lot more shots coming out from them. We see a lot more de demos coming out from these guys. Even touches are uh, in, in the higher numbers, if, if just barely. But, you know, they're doing a lot more consistent things, the Bob Builders, and they're really making sure that they're you know, racking the boards. They're catching them on the back foot on the third man, I think. Yeah, I feel like that's uh, that would make most sense to me, for sure. Um, they're getting good clears, too, and they're not just clearing it right to Torps or right to Weeble or Absolutely. right to Program. Absolutely. But they're actually hitting it somewhere kind of with purposes. Purposes, do we would say? Um, so that's definitely helping them out, and they're more aggressive. They're not just playing defense the whole time. I am curious. Are they gonna? Are we gonna see a timeout from these guys going into this next one? I feel like Torp's ain't a timeout kind of guy. I feel like he's just gonna go right in. Close it. out. Let's get. Let's I mean, get they've this both been with. close. Like it's not like they got stopped, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Like, we, like we've said, and that's what they're gonna do. Huh? Very, very close game so far. They've not been too dragged out, which just goes to show that they're they're really, really having to work for the goals that they are making. Oh, close double tap opportunity there, but Slinger says, I don't want you to peek on me today. Weevil, though, trying to make something happen for his team. This is looking good, but Torps gets 15 in front of his net. Program's already up flying high. Weevil. Oh, this is a lot of nerve-wracking oh pressure my. for Bob's builders. Torps, air dribbling. He's going to get a flip reset. Is he going to be able to use it, though? Uh, unfortunately, no. So much offensive pressure coming up from the side flip so far. Now they have to get back in time to stop this attack from Thoparth. The Bob's Builders, Bob Kinnish, not able to make contact on this ball. Bob Slinger goes for a 50 there, but it gets thrown back into the corner for Bob Builders here. Torps maybe trying to go for a little bit of a passing play here. He gets past one, gets past the second one. Ooh. Oh my. Mr. Smooth moves with some sidewall cheese here. He's like, I don't need to go for a pass, actually. I'll just score. Simple. I like this. He, he kind of delayed his shot. Uh, kind of baited out the second guy, but yeah. Doesn't need to be fancy to win. Just use the. Torp's the playing on the lead teammate. frog right now. He is a god among men. <laughs> <laughs> Huge Torps fans. Love to see him. As this might be another one for him. We're getting donations up the wazoo. Side, Side flip. flip just playing with a food. I don't know about that one, Twitch Tat. You're, now you're pushing the buttons, but. As we get back into game number six here. Oh, Weevil, there was a really good opportunity, but it got kicked away by Bob Slinger. Program taking this one once again, trying to go for the lead, but doesn't quite have it. Bob Slinger once again, trying to get a pass for the Bob Canoes, but it doesn't happen there. Weevil tries to go for a 50, gets thrown back. And Weevil with a good redirect, but Bob Slinger was there to stop it just in time. And a lot more offensive pressure from Cypher Tactics. It looks like they might have, you know, you know, really don't want to catch them on their back foot so far. And the Bob Builders, we see. Once again, just needing to have that offensive pressure to get this series back and tied up. Yeah, Cyflip has the lead, and I'm gonna. And I'm curious to see if they will be as aggressive as they were to get that first goal, because they were kind of sending the whole team. Like their third man was pushed up, in my opinion, a little too far, but it worked out for them. But sometimes you gotta take those risks to score. So I wonder if they're not gonna do that super aggressive play anymore if they have the lead, or if they're gonna try and go for two. 
But if Baba Kanush just scores oh, here, then they're going to have to. Yeah. Yep, that is exactly what they needed. Let's see here, Torps gets a touch to the side. Slinger gets a god pinch, and Kanush is just wow. right there. Yeah, way to be up there. So quick for that ball, to be quite honest. I would not have been that fast. I would have been prepared for that type of pinch either. It yeah. looked like it pinched like not perfectly sideways, maybe upfield. But Bob's Builders will take the god pinch for sure. Down, but definitely not out in game number six here. Trying to tie the series up and try to attempt this back bracket reset here. 250 left to go on the clock. Looking a little bit scary right now for Cyclo Tactics. A lot of pressure coming out from Thafar. Here to go over into the corner. Now Baba Kanush going to jump up early on. Trying to get this ball mid. Corpse taking it down to the ground and getting a nice 50. Thoth now taking it into the corner. Evil says, I, I want to keep it there. Bob Slinger says, are you sure? I just want to hit mid. Straight down the program, off the ceiling, gets a demo. Kanush gets a touch to the side. Corpse kind of slings it to the side wall. Weevil trying to make something. He has the boost. Going for a ceiling shot, but hit the ball a little too hard off the ceiling. Kanush is able to prevent program from slapping that in. Corpse is there lurking. Oh, what a shot my from Corpse. Gosh. That's a tough shot. Yeah, it looked a little bit awkward there for a while from Cyclop Tactics. You know, they had that touch there in the corner, and it just was that was the Torps' third man right there challenging. That is a very scary challenge, and he did such a good job. I feel like uh, he just has good player presence because probably from his point of view, he just noticed nobody on Bob's Builders could make a touch there, so he felt like it was okay to push up, and I feel like that's how you properly apply pressure in Rocket League for sure. As when you just have to know when it's a good time to push up a little far or or not. And Torps is really good at that positioning. You know, great shot too. He like jumped. It's kind of almost a preflip. He kind of jumped halfway, and it just was great. And now he puts his team up two one. But Bob's builders really need to get something going here, or they might have to be going home. As ooh, oh my, that's just that's tough. Side flip tactics. Weevil and Torb just kind of rubbing in their faces with that one right there. It looked like it was just going to go off the side into the corner, but crossbar and out. Torb was able to clean it up, and now under two minutes left to go. Side flip tactics have a little bit more than just one goal lead here. It's going to be a little bit more, a little bit, a little bit more of a tougher ask for Bob Builders now. They need to Bob have fans better warm up their cars. Early. Morales being absolutely <laughs> cruel in the Twitch chat, but you know. If the fans always can, the fans love it. Whoa. Boomer flick from <laughs> Bob Slinger. Oh, wow. He got the perfect hitbox on that ball there. He was able to launch her to the moon. As this is a great pressure from so Oh! Weevil reads that? No way. Weevil. <laughs> dirty dog. What a great read from that one. I did not expect that. I thought Thoughtfarth, you know, it wasn't the best clear from Thoughtfarth, but I thought it would have been enough at least to get past Weevil. Maybe not Torp, but at least past Weevil. That's angles, man. Weevil showing that he, right, he got his... Protractor out right before that shot, and he knew he could do it. <laughs> Send Bob's to Menards for some new tools. I believe they say that because Weevil's wearing the Menards sweatshirt for, for reference. <laughs> but 4-1 uh, for the tactics. Builders are going to have to believe in miracles, I'll be honest. Three goals in a minute. It is doable. We did see it in the Div C game. I believe there was three kickoff goals back to back to back. Oh my gosh, here we see an opportunity. Baba Kanush trying to go for that ball there. Thoughtfarth jumping up early as well. Program with a great save to clear it away. Bob Slinger now going for a shot. It looks like it'll fall. This is their opportunity. This is it. You can definitely get two kickoff goals in 45 seconds. This is possible. They're gonna, they might need a little bit of luck on their side, but they can do it. It's not going to be an easy task by any stretch. It's going to be very, very hard. I mean, 45 seconds, the kickoff here needs to be good. Let's see how great it is. I mean, it's okay. Bob, they have possession, so that's all that Bob Slinger needs. 40 seconds to go. Wait, he's chasing a bump. Doesn't really get much out of it. Baba Kanush here, 35 seconds to go. They really need to go here. Like, who cares if you send the whole team? Yeah, Saifa doing a fantastic job. Just keeping it in the corner and trying to waste some time here. And Weevil throwing this ball off the backboard. Thoughtfarth's going to jump up early for this ball. Go for the pass. It looks like a shuttle fall. Oh! Just a little bit too high. It'll ball, go ball down there. Corpse. Gonna clear this ball away over to Baba Kanush there. No contact made. The ball's gonna stay midfield. Ten seconds left to go. It's looking more grim and grim right now for Bob Builders. That crossbar was the dagger in the heart, I think. They might get one here. Ah, Torps is just too on lock on defense. As it just floats down. Ladies and gentlemen, my boost isn't gone today. <laughs> At side flip tactics are your Div B Finals champions. Great job by Bob's Builders. Hey, they won two games.
they, could, they didn't do that earlier, so they made it somewhat of a series, you know? But side flip still held strong. They obviously have a lot of fans, too, and a uh, good job by both teams. Yeah, I mean, I really have nothing bad to say about both teams. They did a fantastic job. And, I mean, to be, if, if it means anything, Bob's Builders were, you know, one of the only teams to take a dent into side flip tactics anyway in this entire series. So there wasn't a whole lot of games that <laughs> side flip tactics has lost. No. I mean, they only lost one to Resurgence this whole playoffs. That was it. So, hey, they took off two games. Um, but, you know, Torps... Weevil and program, all really great players. Um, beast of a team, and I'm happy for them as they want here today. But uh, Bob's Builders can't hang their heads. I think they did just as great job. So, But I believe uh, as we're wrapping up here, we're going to go to K-Tool to talk with the winning team, Your Side Flip Tactics. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got three of our grand finals down here. And uh, I think this one is probably uh, not as big of a surprise as we were expecting here. Uh, the number on one seed pretty much going undefeated uh, all throughout playoffs here through the uppers. You guys didn't even need to be a bracket reset, which I appreciate. It makes life easy for me. But it was pretty close. You guys went to six. I would say I was maybe hoping for a little game seven here, a little more content. But it was very clean. You guys have absolutely earned this. Side flip tactics are your division B grand champions here. Take your trophy and raise it. All right, let's get some questions in here first, boys. Program, going to be going to you on this one. Again, I always ask this question is, how does it feel to get the win on land here? I mean, it's amazing. It's uh, not what you'd expect, really, but it's, it's much better. I like it. Nice and simple. And then uh, if you want to switch with Taurus for a second here, I was going to say, I don't know if there is a person out there who has a bigger fan base uh, than you guys. So uh, any anything you want to say to everyone out there who's followed you through this journey to get the championship here? Thanks to the fans. Nice and simple. So I'm kind of curious for you guys uh, going through this. Obviously, you ended up beating Bob's Builders in the first place, knocking them down to lowers. Uh, did you have kind of a game plan going into this rematch, or are you just saying, hey, run it back. If it ain't broke, don't fix it? Uh, yeah, basically that. I mean, we're not invincible, so like we wanted to play safe and not mess around too much, but we beat them twice already, so we were pretty confident going into this one. I like it. I was going to say, definitely a lot of confidence in you guys and in the crowd as well. Weevil, if you want to step over here real quickly. And uh, I was going to say, obviously, uh, I was going to say, we've met you quite a few times. We've seen you play a lot. Um, how did it feel just working with these guys uh, to have such a cohesive unit every single time you guys just have pure domination? I was going to say, how are the vibes even on land in the situation? I think we surprise ourselves, too. I mean, we, play, we know we play well. At the beginning of the season, this was... It was a stacked team from the beginning, but we didn't realize how stacked it would be. Yeah, it I definitely was stacked in the beginning. It's interesting kind of looking back. Uh, I actually had you guys winning this entire thing. I was going to say, uh, talking about kind of how the draft worked. I don't understand how people didn't pick uh, between you uh, and program here. You guys obviously, I can't even say, you know, we're slept on because you guys obviously did insanely good. I am curious kind of, did you have any nerves on land? Because it didn't seem like you guys really struggled much. I think we had nerves, but we knew we would be fine. Just good enough to win? That's fair enough. Well, boys, I was going to say, why don't you step forward, and uh, Cody will give you guys your very much well-earned medals here. I was going to say, well-deserved indeed. Uh, we're also going to be doing the MVP as soon as we're done with this, which I don't really think is going to be uh, much of a surprise uh, to a lot of people here. Uh, some people would argue it's going to say a surprise he didn't get picked up in Div A here, uh, which I think definitely next season it's going to be interesting to see uh, how people feel and how he has done this season. I'm going to step over on this side real quick. And uh, I think no surprise anyone is that Torps is going to be your MVP of season here for Div B. You want to step forward for one sec. And again, I've already asked this to the others, but how does it feel being the most valued player in this entire division? Torps, Weevil, and Rogram. Um, I don't know. Honestly, like, it could have went to any of the guys that I played with. You know, they're all pretty irreplaceable. Um, so, you know, this is awesome, but <laughs> I don't know. feels good, I guess. 
I like it. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for your Division B champions.